A big hello, it's Glenn. Our guest drawer today is Ava, and when she's not hanging upside down in a tree, she likes to draw with a splat. Here she is. Hi everyone. Our starting point is 8 centimetres high and 8 centimetres crossed. Let's start by drawing a simple cube. Part 2. And part 3. Next, Ava is going to repeat those same steps again. Part 1, 2 and 3. Three steps for drawing a cube. Some of the lines are covered up. We only need to draw a few here. Just one there. And two at the top. Nice. All we're doing is doing half of the cube. Now once we finish doing a row, we're, we've got a new starting point, which is at our old corner. Mm, we're lining up those little blips at each side, right? Now we're going to draw another cube underneath. Do you draw this fast, Ava, or is this sped up a little bit, do you think? I think this is sped up a little bit. Now we're going to do the same thing. Draw half a splat again. Draw half a cube. And that's the far corner you're putting in there? Yep. So this is going to be a really fancy doghouse. This is six times bigger than the one we drew in part one. Humongous it is. Now that we've finished doing that, we're going to go to the, first cu the third cube and we're going to put an ellipse on it. Now we're going to draw half an ellipse over the first ellipse and shade that in lightly. Now we're going to now we're going to rub the middle of it out. And that's making it from a thin tire into a really thick wheel. Just darkening that in. Cool. Now we're going to start drawing the door. All dogs need to get into their house. Now we're going to round it off. You could make this any shape, though, couldn't you? It would still work as a door, right? Definitely. Now, once we've rounded it off, we're going to draw... Oh, this is you. You had your own idea here, how you wanted to draw that line. So you used the ruler and lined it up, which is right. There's lots of different ways to draw these isometric lines. Now, once we've done that, it kind of looks like we can go inside now. Now I'm drawing a window with a ruler. As I found out, it's not such a great idea. I think I'm going to need to use the splat. Was that line there that wasn't quite right? Definitely. And with the splat, it helps you get those angles. It all takes practice, right? That's looking really good. Here I am drawing a TV. Of course, every fancy doghouse needs a TV. Whoops! I have just run into a problem. The ruler isn't really great for drawing isometric lines. I'm just erasing some of the lines that we don't really need. And darkening, darkening the lines that we do need. These squiggly lines are the ones that we're going to erase. Now that we've erased them, we can curve the corners. Whoops! That one's a bit bumpy. Let's draw it again. To make the window look 3D, we're going to trace the inside of it. Now let's draw a chandelier. Every doghouse needs a chandelier to make it extra fancy. That looks like... A cylinder, a really short cylinder you've drawn there. And what are these parts? They're the really fancy little glass parts that hang off it that all light up. This floor looks pretty uncomfortable. So let's draw a rug. We can use the splat angles to help us draw it. Now I'm just drawing some tassels. Now this is Ava having fun playing with the camera. Getting a little bit distracted, Ava. This is an idea for a simple speaker. Draw some sound waves to make it look like it's playing. You don't want to leave your dogs behind, so let's figure out a way to tow it. 
I agree, like a caravan. From the corner, come forwards one splat length and up half and put a dot. Now, Ava's drawing a line from the corner of the caravan to that dot. That's going to be a piece of metal and then a second line coming back. Here she's thickening it to make it nice and strong. Now I'm going to draw a hook so you can hook it onto your car. Let's draw a table. Some dogs might be driving to the beach and they might need a place to put their sunnies when they get home. Where did you get the sunnies? I cut it out of a newspaper. Hope you're not reading it. <laughs> and here we are. We also got this out of a catalogue for the, uh, the TV effect and a satellite dish. Now I've drawn some water. You need to stay hydrated. And I've cut a dog out and a few extra things. Luckily they've put a poster up. Don't want any cats sneaking in. Draw, draw a jelly bean at the top of your wheel and on the bottom, a little bit smaller. Then colour it in and leave the jelly bean white. Mm, that, that highlighter reflection makes it look kind of rounded like a tyre. Nice. I like the way you're using the ruler there to get your uh, colour straight. Well done, Ava. So glad to have you drawing with us today. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. Ava Lawrence, nine years old. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye, everyone. See you next time.